Welcome to our show. This is Snack Attack with Angie Mack and Nikki Wren. Hello. We're here again and we're so happy to see you. We've got three snacks today as usual and Nikki picked them out this time so I'm really excited to try what we have. Okay, so um, you know what? I'm gonna pass this over to you. Oh boy. And I'm gonna let you put it down there. Oh and my you goodness. Pick what you wanna do first. Oh wow, I feel special now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hmm. Let's do a familiar thing first Pringles. Pringles. <laughs> I'm not used to this. <laughs> Just like, hello. <laughs> the pilot's chair like I didn't even tell her I no. just said oh by the way while we're recording this you're is in so charge. unexpected <laughs> okay. okay so um oh dear all right so this is um Pringles rotisserie chicken and um I've I don't even mm, I'm bad at this <laughs> That's okay all right well let's say okay so let me, okay. I'll talk a little bit yes okay so I have feeling I'm kind of worried this is gonna taste like a ramen packet like oh, a chicken yeah. flavor <laughs> packet of ramen which I had last night so yeah. it's still fresh <laughs> in my mind um, maybe like you know the chicken bouillon cubes you know yes yeah. mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it'll kind of taste like that too mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and open it up and take a little whiff to see what we got yes uh, whiff don't sniff <laughs> The packaging is pretty brown. Yeah. Not very jumping out at me. Makes me think of the uh, Reuben sandwiches. Ah, the one Reuben that you sandwich, had. yes. What do you think? What do you get? I'd say it does smell like rotisserie chicken. Mm, okay. All right. You know, it doesn't smell like the ramen yeah, chicken packet, thank which goodness. is good. Yeah, that would be too much. Oh my gosh, what if they had ramen flavored Pringles? Oh my god. Like yes. all the different kinds. Yeah. Like the they've got chicken, roast pork, creamy chicken, spicy. Mm. <laughs> I'm smelling the chicken, but it's just something else I'm smelling too. Oh. There's spices in here too. There's garlic oh. powder. Oh, it has coconut oil in here. Oh. Oh, brown sugar. I think that's what oh. I'm also smelling. For a little sweetness. Okay, I'll go ahead and take mm -hmm. one. And you can see the powder coating on the outside. It's just like a little light brown. There's some dark spots. I guess that's probably pepper. Mm -hmm. Looks like a pretty basic Pringle, probably from all the way over there. Okay. Alright, I'm excited. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Do you really like it too? I really like that. I want more. <laughs> and um, as always with like every single Pringles thing, it has a really good amount mm -hmm. to it. Almost like, all the way up to the top. It has a light flavoring, but enough. Mm -hmm. You're not lacking anything. It's not to the point where you're just disappointed in it, but it's not too much where it gets gross after a while. Yeah, it's not an overpowering chicken flavor. It's a very light chicken flavor. She's getting a little mm -hmm. stash on the side. I like it. <laughs> but it's just, gosh, I can't even explain it. It's not, I was worried about it being too salty, mm -hmm. but there's not too much salt. There's like a little bit, but just enough. Mm. Four hearts. Mm -hmm. Four hearts immediately. All the way. So good. Good job, Pringles, on this one. Thank you, Pringles. New. It says new, so I wonder if they're going to keep it. Mm. It doesn't say limited edition, it just says new. So we'll see. We'll see. Because they've kept some of the other flavors, like pizza. Mm -hmm. I bet at one time that was like. Oh, this is brand new. Mm. I guess now that I'm pilot, I've got 
Polly begging me for food. Uh -huh. She knows. Polly's over there now. My baby. She knows who's in charge. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll get that back. <laughs> it's on your side, I forgot. Yep. Alright, cool. That was great. Mm -hmm. Good first start. Yep. Alright, second thing we have is um, Lundberg cheese pizza uh, organic potato. Not, <laughs> not potato <laughs> chips. Tortilla chips. Little bold bites. So they're bite sized mm -hmm. tortilla chips. They're tangy. Yeah, this. I really like the packaging. That is nice. Mm -hmm. They've got a good thing going on here. It's very noticeable. Yep. It catches your eye. And very easy to read. <laughs> yes, very easy to read. And the bag is that weird, soft, stiff material. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's not flimsy. Yeah. Like a Doritos bag. I'm definitely excited for it because I usually like pizza flavored chips. Yes, like the pizza Pringles. Those are good. Pizza goldfish. Okay, let's see if it opens this one. Ooh, we it got it. It does indeed. It's, it's a little hard to open, it looks like, but it opens clean. Alright, so there's sadly not that much in it. Oh. You'd see. That's pretty A little it's disappointing. Like down here. Yeah. A lot of. It's like. <laughs> a lot of empty space. What does it smell like? Pizza? Yeah, it does have pizza chip smell. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I'm getting a, a light pizza smell. Mm -hmm. It's mostly. I don't want to say wheat, but I guess the. Corn tortilla smell. So oh, yeah, they are small. Oh, look at them. They're little baby chips. <laughs> oh, I got a broken baby chip. That's okay. I still love them. It has a good amount of powdering on it. It does. Like, I can already feel it. Oh, yeah, I can feel that. <laughs> I'm getting a oh, strong pizza smell. Oh, yeah. Now. I can smell mm. the cheese. I wonder if that's Parmesan. Does it say Parmesan um, on here? Let's see. Just a. Oh, white Parmesan cheese, cheese powder. Parmesan cheese. Aha! I know my <laughs> cheese. It's got other cheese too. It's got cheddar and white cheddar. Mm. Okay, cool. A lot of, a lot of cheese powder. And it's all organic. These are uh, organic ingredients. It says gluten-free organic. So, <laughs> cool. Alright, well let's try them out. Alright. light on the flavor. Mm -hmm. Which is strange, there's so much powder on it. Mm -hmm. That is strange. I wonder if because it's like organic and mm. I don't mm -hmm. see any artificial ingredients on there so it might be hard to get more of a powerful flavor. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, it is what it is. I'd say it makes sense because it's a tortilla chip and tortilla chips aren't usually super heavy in flavor. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, we're having to eat a lot to get the pizza flavor. Mm -hmm. Which, you know. They suggest dipping it in ranch. Or in any other dips. Really? Mm -hmm. Perfect for dipping in ranch. Okay. You know, I'd be willing to try that because mm -hmm. you know what they do taste like? Mm. Totina's pizza rolls. My god, yeah. They do. do. And I do dip those in ranch, so mm -hmm. that would that would be good. So I feel like I would give it three hearts because I'm wishing for more of a powerful pizza flavor, but I do really like their bag design <laughs> and the organic ingredients and the size of the chips are cute and I like the idea, but I think I'm missing a heart because of, like I said, the powerful flavor isn't there and then there's not that many chips in the bag it's like down here and we just opened it yeah. so and I imagine uh being that they're organic they probably weren't super cheap so mm -hmm. how do you feel honestly surprisingly different from yours I'd say two and a half yeah. because I'd say the um a major lack of chips that cuts down a half for me yes. because I get that um having that amount inside of it is for like preservation or mm -hmm. something because of is. the extra gas or something. Mm -hmm. But my god, there's so much empty space. There is. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand. I guess 
I just feel like someone ate half the bag mm -hmm. already. It's pretty disappointing. I would say it is a good flavor though. You do have to eat quite a bit, but if you like subtle flavored chips, then you could totally try this. It'd be pretty nice for a party, to be honest, or a small movie together. It would be really nice for that. Just something not heavy. Like if you're not looking for anything super heavy, it'd be pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I just really like the bag. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. They've got other ones too that we're gonna try in other episodes. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple bags and all the bags are so nice, but okay, so three hearts and then two and a half. Yeah. I'd say that's fair. Sorry, Polly. <laughs> and last but not least, <sighs> happy face. Happy face. The terrifying treat. <laughs> yes. I think they had good intentions with what yes. they were trying to do, but it just came out looking a little creepy. Yeah, like uh, those... Um, mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yes, okay, so it's Happy Face. Um, compound milk chocolate coated sandwich biscuits with hazelnut cream. A mouthful. Yes. I don't know what compound milk chocolate... I mean... I wonder if they're just saying it's like all combined together yeah. in a sandwich, but... Also, a thing I noticed, still, we noticed that I'm definitely going to criticize on, I can barely read the back. It's dark red background with like a light gold mm -hmm. writing, a shiny gold writing. And That's I very can, difficult to I read. I can barely read it. <laughs> yes. But um, yeah, so let us uh, try this terrifying treat. I can't wait to see what they actually look like. The faces, they're probably a little disturbing. Yep. Okay, so let me just open it and slide out the reveal. Oh, let me try not to crush them. Okay. Hmm. Well, I lost one, but um... I'm trying to be dramatic with this. Oh my okay. god, they're better than I expected. Yeah, please look at this. <laughs> look at them. They're not as horrifying as the picture, at least. They're like. They're moderately happy. Yes. <laughs> this one's happier than that mm -hmm. one. They're kind of like, huh. Eh. Uh, I'm a chocolate biscuit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. I suppose we just okay. take it out, place. Yeah, okay, so we have two biscuits, mm -hmm. and there's some chocolate in the middle, and then chocolate on the bottom, which I didn't expect. I thought it was mm. just a chocolate sandwich, but yeah. okay. But, um, yeah, it's got uh, quite a face. It smells really good. Mm hmm. My hot hands are already melting. I it. know, it's so melty, I'm mm -hmm. having to hold it upside down because I don't. Okay, so that's the part I don't like is the chocolate yeah. on the bottom because it's making my fingers really messy, but yeah, that happens. Okay, okay. okay. ready? Let's try. makes me think of mm. those um chocolate panda cookies <laughs> it's got a little cute little pandy on the outside mm -hmm. i can't remember what's called for life of me but i gotta say i like it mm -hmm. it does taste really good it does Like a tree is like way too small. 
Yeah, I, I really thought they were going to be smaller, but they're pretty big. It was good. It's, I like that kind of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And the biscuit was light and crumbly. Not super messy. We've had messier things. Remember you trying to eat that wafer thing? You just dumped all the powder on it. All the know? powder. <laughs> and then I like you would talk too close to it and it'd be like poof. Mm-hmm. That was messy. I feel like that was like one of our messiest snacks we've had. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's good. I do like that. It's not super sweet, mm -hmm. mildly sweet, which I do like with my chocolate stuff. Not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Sizing was good. Packaging was a little creepy, but <laughs> I think it made up for it. So what would you, what would you give that one? Hmm. Honestly, I would say three hearts because we got the three points for it tastes good. I enjoyed it, but I'm going to be honest, I'm taking away a heart for the packaging because I feel like if I was a kid, that would really frighten me. And on the back, I can't read it. I just can't. Yeah, that is, that is a, a downside because I just... I have trouble reading things anyways. As you can see, I have glasses. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can't read this. Um, I wear glasses normally, and this is just not happening. <laughs> Definitely not happening. But I would give it, I'd give it three and a half. I would take a half heart half away from the packaging. Everything else was fine, but just the difficulty reading the back like if you really needed to see what was going on here and then the the little toast people are kind of creepy like this one especially on the side here mm -hmm. he's like peeking around his friend like hey <laughs> how's it going <laughs> and i'm like what in the hey because he's got like a little shadow on him and I just, I feel like they're up to no good. It's like Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here. Oh they're goodness. up to no good. <laughs> but other than that, it's great. I really liked it. <laughs> but I think our favorite today was the rotisserie chicken Pringles. Definitely, yeah. I was surprised. I didn't know if I'd like those. I was so worried about a really salty, powerful, artificial chicken flavor. <laughs> but it wasn't there. Yeah. So I'm going to say that was our favorite and... Our least favorite was what? What do you think? What do you think? Um, I'd say the um, tortilla chips are probably yeah. my least favorite. The pizza. They just weren't that impressive. They weren't. They were missing something. Shout out to them trying to be organic, though. Yes, it's shout good. out to you. Organic snacks are good. Yes, good, good on you for mm -hmm. that. But just, I'm missing my powerful pizza yeah. flavor. <laughs> so that was our least favorite, and he's happy face for in the middle. Yeah. So, not too bad. Hello, Holly. Polly. How do you always come up towards the end of the episode? It's like, you know we're wrapping it up. But, well, I guess uh, signaling Polly here, that means we're at the end of our episode. Yep. But we had a good time with our red and orange themed snacks here. And some unique flavors. And next week we'll have more, of course, different things to try. Mm -hmm. Uh, anything else you wanted to add in there? Oh, thank you oh, all for yes. 54 subscribers. 54. That's so many. I'm so excited. <laughs> thank you everyone yes. who's watching and then all the people who watch every week. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It really means a lot to us. We notice you guys out there. It's really you fans that keeps us going. It really does. It makes us feel good. Like, oh my gosh, 54 mm -hmm. people are looking at this and then more people who aren't subscribed that watch it as well. It's yeah, really like, exciting. I see the stats and it says that a small percentage aren't subscribed. I'm like, strangers are actually strangers. looking at us. Hello, if you're not subscribed. Hi. Hello. I hope you're doing well mm -hmm. and thank you for stopping by to watch. Mm -hmm. It's good to have you. Hope to see you again. So I think that's everything now. Yep. So what we need to say and 
always down here telling me to <laughs> hurry up. So I guess we will see you next week and I hope you have a really awesome, great day and week. Okay, see you next time. Yep. Bye. Bye.